There are a host of cultural events taking place this month in Istanbul, attracting art lovers and visitors to the city. Among them is the 12th edition of Contemporary Istanbul. Artworks from both established and emerging galleries will be on display for visitors from Thursday. The aim is to bring regional and international focus to the dynamic contemporary art scene in Istanbul. Here's a small sneak peek of what to expect. The director of Contemporary Istanbul, Kamir Maliki, joins me here in the studio today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So this year it's the 12th edition and it seems like it's getting better and better every year. So what should we expect? Well, first of all, thank you for having me here. It's an exciting opportunity to talk to Istanbul. You should expect a, a great program, great new galleries. Uh, one of the largest and, and best things we have done this year has partnered up with uh, the Tabanolo Architects. So mm -hmm. you should expect to see a nice, refreshed art fair, very symmetric, organized. This year especially, we have uh, 74 galleries, uh, of which 41 are international, 27 new galleries as well. So uh, we'll expect a lot of great content, a lot of activity throughout the city, and in general, a great buzz, hopefully, for this week. So there's very different exhibitions from sculptures to media art. Tell us a bit about what's going to be showcased. Well, first of all, you know, the, the idea of contemporary Istanbul is to really bring good art and make it accessible to the Turkish public. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to uh, showcase the, the, the great rich culture that Istanbul has, but also by showing um, you know, in a, as we always see in a time of tension, you know, it's actually the most yeah. of the creativity that comes out. So we will see a lot of sculptures for the first time ever. We will have uh, the Fifth Element Sculpture Park, which will be in uh, Machka Park, which is curated by Professor uh, Karaman, mm -hmm. uh, which again brings art more accessible to the public. We have a plug-in section, which uh, deals with how uh, technology has influenced the art world. And again, it's all about interaction, action, and making people see new art, challenging art, and great art. Well, having it in a park indeed makes it very accessible, especially to the public that wants to see a bit of art exactly. here and there. So I can imagine that this event has a huge impact on the region, even going in and for one person to get a slight inspiration from an art piece could make changes all over the world. Tell us a bit about the impact it has on the region. Well, you know, I always believe that Istanbul and Turkey has such a rich, as I was saying before, culture and heritage mm -hmm. that, you know, it is a shame that it, towards the other cities it always felt that it, it wasn't catching the limelight. Mm -hmm. And, you know, by bringing in such cultural moments into the city. You know, we're talking about the, the fair usually has been in November. So this year we actually moved it into September mm -hmm. so that we can combine ourselves with the Biennale, which is taking place this year. Then we have, of course, yesterday we had the opening of Ai Weiwei, which yeah. was fantastic. So, you know, by creating lots of different cultural moments, we want to put Istanbul into the art calendar as an art hub and as an international art hub. So that's why it's named Art Week. Yeah, that's why it will be named Art Week, yes. So what about its financial aspect? What's the financial effect it has? In regards to the, the region. The region yeah. I mean, look, first of all, you know, we all know that uh, Turkey has faced a, a difficult year in the last year. And it, it certainly has been a challenging time for me uh, jumping in in December as a, as a director. But we're going to bring collectors. We're bringing directors, museum people. It's, you know, not, every single business aspect is going to be affected positively. You know, hotels are full, tourism mm -hmm. is full, restaurants are full. And of course, the art, our art week, you know, the art galleries are going to be full. We have plenty of openings over the next few days where you can actually showcase all of these galleries are, are, are going to be exhibiting fantastic art. And it's going to bring people together. People have a happy moment, positive stories for Istanbul and for the culture. I want to put mainstream art lovers on a side, and I want to find out what you would recommend for collectors and investors to check out throughout this period. Well, I mean, there's so much activity. Yeah. First of all, our fair. <laughs> this is the, you That's know, at the, the top of the list. It, it's <laughs> at the top of the list. You know, it's one of those things where you can get a glimpse of what the city has to offer. You know, mm -hmm. you you will walk in. It's as I say, on 12,000 square meters of terrain. 
It's with a partnership with Tabanolo Architects. Mm -hmm. They're, they're, they're going to make this a really exciting fair. However, uh, aside from that, mm -hmm. you have the, the Biennale, which is stunning. You have gallery openings from Dirim Art to Gaia from... Uh, yesterday was Arter, then you have Pistoletto opening tonight. Uh, you know, there's a whole array of, of things happening in, in the city yeah. that, uh, you know, it really is a big cultural moment uh, in Istanbul. Indeed. Um, tell me about yourself. You have a very artistic background. Well, I mean, I come from a collecting family mm -hmm. who has uh, originally Iranian. We've been living in London for the last 30 years, mm -hmm. so we've... Uh, They've been collecting for 30, 35 years, mostly post-war contemporary art and heavily focusing on emerging art. I myself have been collecting uh, 15 years, wow. mostly young emerging art, trying to focus on discovering talent. This is why Istanbul is such an exciting place yeah. for me because you can discover real great positive talent. I've been a curator for the last three years and uh, now an art fair director. <laughs> so well, it's been an interesting experience. That's amazing. It was really nice having you come here on our show today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.